love radio. But I love a good pee even more. <laughs> Turn it up and piss somebody off. Shake a leg and zip it up. Oh my God. Now or never, here it comes. Take yourself on a journey into the unknown. Yeah! Are you ready? Attention. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. You're listening to Motorcycle Madhouse Radio, WMMRDB Rockford. And how you guys doing? Welcome to the show. Oh boy, do we got one for you today. Thanks for everybody listening over on WMMRDB Rockford. You can get us live on the radio 24-7, 365 a year by downloading the Android app in Saint Throttle Radio. I'm going to be addressing today Big Cell from FHO. Boy, did he light the internet on fire, baby. He did a video about one percenters and how it seems like Anytime there's an event, anytime there's a party, that there's trouble. And I'll let you hear it in his own words, and I'm going to give a reply. I also find it funny, after that video, because in that video, he said he hired cops to be security. And that if anything goes wrong, it's the problem of the people. That done some stupid stuff. And then you had all these ignorant people come back and say, well, you're a snitch, you're a rat. And you got to step back a second and say to yourself, what the hell are you talking about? This man has a legitimate promotion company. Meaning, he throws biker events. In order to throw a rally that's of any size, you have to get a permit from City Hall. You're just not getting around it. And most of the time with City Hall, you have to basically hire off-duty cops as security. Or they're not giving you anything, man. They're not giving you a permit. Because what's going to happen is they got to cover the cost of the overtime for the cops, everything. So you're going to have to put in some money for it. Well, that's not true. Well, yes, it is. We learned that in Ohio with Easy Riders. The sheriff pulled his guys from the event. Thus, the location of the event said, no, we don't want you here anymore. Because they want that police presence if they're going to give a permit. That's what Big Cell did. He's a legitimate business and you have to play by the rules. He isn't in, uh, you know, I think he's in a riding club. But his business has nothing to do with being a rat, being a cop. Man, we went over that. With the last time somebody was called the rat, which was Bobby D, uh, with his production company, well, he talked to the IRS. It's his business, you morons. I get it. Hooked on phonics didn't work for you. I get it. You don't understand business. You're so caught up in the fact that that legitimate businesses have to work with cops. That doesn't make you a snitch. Don't make you a rat. You're earning a living. Big Cell was very upset, and I see why he was, because a friend of his was shot at a party. I don't know the details of it, you would have to go to him, talk to him about all the details. He put out a video. Instead of anniversary flyers, we're sending out obituaries. I get hell all the time. I get hell all the time with my platform. 
it's like you can't do no right. If you go down the middle, you're always going to piss somebody off. Well, you're not being hard enough on clubs. You're always protecting them. Oh, I get that a lot. Even though I said, damn, man, the last two videos, uh, the coverage was kind of harsh. So for you to come back and say something like that is like mind boggling. Well, you never put out the side of the story that some of us independents and some of our clubbers are feeling. So I seen this video. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to put out that side. On the condition that everybody knows that just because you see stuff happening in the news on our stuff or nationwide, it's only individuals that do that stuff. It doesn't make the entire club criminal. Then you have the argument, well, the club should police themselves. 100% agree. You'll have people say, well, that's my brother. I'm going to back him no matter what. Well, brotherhood, in my viewpoint, entails everybody. It's just not about one person. So if one person is bringing Leo to your door, that ain't real brotherhood anyway, is it? Because they're doing that to you. I regress, though. I want to get into some of this stuff with Big Cell and give some my opinions on it. And boy, what he said, a lot of people were actually thinking. So let's go to this, check it out for a second. Not strong enough to stand. If you're not finna defend that, if you're not finna tell whoever it is, any outcast, any OMC, any outcast, Wheels of Soul, Thunder Guard, whoever the fuck it is, if you're not finna stand against them when they are wrong, then stop inviting people to your shit. Okay, what he's talking about is this party where some one percenter showed up, there was problems, and the people that were hosting the party didn't provide any security for it. That's what he's talking about right now. We are to the point now where we're coming out to the party and don't know if we're going to make it home or not. It's getting to the point to whereas I don't even go nowhere. I don't, I'm, not, I'm good with that. It's getting to the point now to where when the big brother shows up, which is our OMCs, our one percenters, it's almost like the Grim Reaper done showed up. Whenever, whenever y'all show up, whenever they show up to your party, it dims, it destroys, it tones down, it kills the party. And the sad part about it is you keep having a party. You keep trying to invite people over to your clubhouses and to all these other functions, and it's not safe. All my one percenters and my OMCs, and, and again, you can take it how you want to take it. I'm not... Do you agree with that statement that the atmosphere changes? You can bring all types of incidences up where it did. Many people, right or wrong, say that happens. That when a 1% club shows up, the atmosphere is different, nobody's having fun. There's all kinds of tension. I've heard that time and time and time again. Let's continue. Threaten nobody. I'm not going against nobody. I'm just speaking my mind. Stop it. Stop coming to our parties, our functions with the bullshit. The rule that you guys taught us was the clubhouse is to always be respected. The function is to always be respected. But yet and still, you guys are the one that's disrespecting our parties. You guys are the one that's pulling up with the bullshit at our parties. You guys are the ones that is causing 
all of the demise and causing all of the chaos and, 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 and buzz killing and, and, and fucking up our parties. True or false. If you look in uh, a lot of the incidences that do happen, it was at somebody else's event. He ain't lying there. One of the things you got to be is straight up when you're talking about this type of stuff. Because what we got now is a lot of people, man, did uh, myself, sell and all them spring these people that want to put their opinion in, but they put their opinion in as clubs do no wrong. While at the same time saying, Everybody needs to just get along. Well, that can't happen if you don't have straight up debate. That can't happen unless you address the issues. Big Cell's taking it straight on right here. Let's continue. We don't come to your clubhouse or your party to start anything. We come to have a good time, patronize, and get the fuck home. I shouldn't have to worry about if me or one of my partners is going to have to get into a squabble or if me and one of my partners is going to die because we at an at a motorcycle event, which is supposed to be about love, peace, and happiness, freedom, and all that other shit that it's supposed to be about. Freedom. That's what everybody says, isn't it? Freedom to have fun, party, Mess around with the chick. Hopefully see your back of her head. Just saying. But when you got this tension around, you can't be yourself. Prepare for if so-and-so and them show up, or if this show up, or if that show up, or whatever. Fellas, what the fuck is going on, man? What's really happening? Where are we at? Are we to the point now to where that's what this shit is all about? It ain't about motorcycle riding no more. It's about just having an event so y'all can show up or whoever can show up and and look for somebody to call. Cause see, this is the thing that this is the thing that that kills me. Y'all know where each other at. Y'all know where each other to be. But instead of going over there, or instead of facing each other at, at, at y'all spots. Y'all want to come to the local 99% party, the, the local, we just want to have a good time, ride a motorcycle, fuck some hoes, and, and the hoes want to fuck, you know, fuck some dudes or whatever. But y'all rather come to an event that we have in a fun time event, and you come in that motherfucker like the Grim Reaper, and then boom, here we go. Powerful stuff right there, man. Powerful stuff. And for those that are getting pissed off at him for talking as a business owner, something's really wrong with you. I don't know if I would want to put out for one of these rallies insurance, security protection for the people to be blown because some people want to beef at the place. And Sal's right. All these clubs know where each other's at. You don't have to go to a main event to take care of business. You just don't have to do that. And I believe that's the reason why there's so much negativity coming from a lot of bikers now. Now, these other uh, creators would say, well, you know, these biker news stuff, that's putting it out there. No, they see it on the ground. Now, this incident had to deal with something happening in Atlanta, Georgia. Big Cell personally knew the dude. And he got killed. Why? Because somebody disrespected somebody? How are you supposed to have a good time when everybody's sitting over there stone cold face and you have to watch your P's and Q's? A lot of these bigger rallies 
a lot of people complain about the no patch uh, inside the bars, no colors. And yeah, it is freedom of speech. But it's also on the establishment where they have the freedom to choose who they want in there. They don't want the problems. Sometimes clubs are their worst enemies. But this is the kind of stuff that is now happening where it's turning a lot of people. Yes, clubs do all kinds of good stuff, and it's only a few that do stuff like this. But when they do, it goes on the entire club. Boy, do we see that all the time. But for Big Cell to have to come out, and address all this internet stuff about him being a rat and all oh, snitch. Because, you know, you have to work with the cops when you have an event like this. Hell, if that's the case, when, you know, then this is to the supporters. Because I really don't think it's the club members that really think this way. I think it's their supporters who like, you know, bobbing on their freaking knobs. When a club has a huge funeral, a big one, guess who they go to? They go to the cops. They let them know what's going on, or hell, maybe even get an escort. Does that make them all rats? No, because that's how things are done. So going after Big Cell, because he has to conform to the rules of where he's going to hold this rally... And call him a rat? What the hell's wrong with you people? Past affiliations for all us creators. That's what they are, is past affiliations. We run a legitimate businesses. So if I was to go have a big event in, say, Chicago... The first thing I would need to do is get a permit for Grant Park down on the lake. And the first thing they're going to ask is, what is your security? How many people are going to be there? And how much overtime do you think we're going to have to pay out to the cops to watch the event? Not to include insurance and everything else. That's the first thing that's going to be asked. And if I want to hold that event there at Grand Park, I'm going to have to pay the off-duty officers to be there. That doesn't make me a rat or a snitch. That didn't make Big Cell a snitch. It sure the hell didn't make Bobby D a snitch. Because that is a part of legitimate business. This ain't about the street at this point. That's what I don't understand with people is they can't comprehend that. And that right there is scary. They can't comprehend that all the stuff you hear on the internet or on the streets does not apply to a legitimate business. Anytime... Insane travel goes to a rally, I have to have insurance. Well, it's covered by the event. No, it ain't. I have to have individual business insurance on all our equipment. There's a lot of moving parts when you get into this kind of business stuff. Hell, Easy Rider's the same thing. Are you going to say everybody at Easy Rider's are a rat because they have to have cops at their events? Come on, grow up. <laughs> grow up and it's sad to see Big Cell having to be attacked like that because he's trying to make himself better because he's trying to grow a business and then you guys come back well he's trying to make money off the life stuff man get off of that crap Harley Davidson's been doing it since 1903 Easy Riders have been doing it since the late 70s Anybody you see at these rallies at the vending booths 
are there to make money off the lifestyle. So shut up about it. It's like you're ignorant. You're either ignorant or you're jealous of others that they're doing it. It's their hustle. That's the way they go. And if they have to do that hustle legally, then that's what they're going to do. Which, by the way, now these times with all the technology, why would you even want to try anything? Everybody has a cell, damn cell phone. But that's your personal choice. And what Big Cell's saying is, don't bring that to my event. Don't bring that kind of stuff to a clubhouse that I go to. We don't want it. And you have to say to yourself, there are a lot of so-called pop-up clubs out there. And if you look at it logically, it has to be many things. But one of the top things that they always quote is we don't want to be involved in all the shit. Actually, I'm surprised AMA uh, charter clubs ain't doing bigger uh, than they are. You know, because that's the first place these pop-ups should go is to the AMA. Because they have a different mission than, you know, the street clubs. Again, I regress. I'm sorry, I regress. I'm actually doing a video portion of this radio segment, and I'm going to put it on the big channel because I was going to put it on the smaller one. But I think it's really important for some of us creators to stand behind Big Cell. Because I know as a business owner what he's going through. I might have disdain or I might not like some of what cops do. But at the same time, if I'm required to have them at an event, well, I'm going to do that because I got an investment out there. The type of event he's throwing out there, he must have a minimum of 100K out of his pocket. I know he has a lot of rappers that are big time coming up. You got to pay them. There's a lot of investment in these events. And he don't want it screwed up by some... Street ass crap. If you can't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. Or you know what? Say you're you work a forty hour work week, and you gotta you know you take home maybe you know fifteen hundred bucks, whatever it is. I don't know what you take, but fifteen hundred bucks you take home, and you want to do an investment, so you take. 500 of that and invest it. Well, guess what? Somebody comes along and this could be just a party at a bar. So you want to have a bike night and you invest 500 bucks in it. Thinking that you're going to at least make your money back in some extra, you know, coin. But all of a sudden some people show up and ruin it. Well, guess what? You done lost your investment. Because now, you're going to be dealing with insurance companies, cops, everything else. So, you wouldn't like losing your investment. So, if he has a minimum investment of 100 k do you blame him for playing by the rules? No. I sure the hell don't. And I think he makes a ton of great points in his video. And for those that call him a rat or a snitch, what a bunch of morons. Because I always thought bikers knew how to think for themselves. It wasn't all... You know, follow this and follow that without making up your own decisions. Hell, you're going to have people going after me now for backing him up. 
But I know who I am. I know how business works. I know what's needed. So your, your opinions really don't freaking matter to me. Because you're the ignorant one that don't understand these are the things that are required to have events. Let me know what you guys think of that right there. Um, sad state of affairs it really is when things like that happened in Atlanta or you have guys getting shot over the club stuff. Nobody should have to die. It's supposed to be, like Big Cell said, freedom, having fun, riding your motorcycle. At least that's the way it used to be. We're going to go to a kick-ass tune right now, and we'll be right back. I'm going to have China Dow in the studio with me. Uh, again, download the Insane Throttle Radio app. You can listen to us live or you to go in our Discord server. We rewatch everybody and we uh, interact with you on the radio live. Or you can go to www.insanethrottletv.com and listen to us over there. We'll be right back after this. So how do you like the rockin' with Hollywood and Motorcycle like Madhouse Morning Mayhem show? Unbelievable. I love you people. I hear them a lot. They're as talented as anybody and any players anywhere. You're listening to WMMR TV Rock On. 